Hi folks, today we're going to be looking at the Cirrus Motion 8GB phone tablet, which is a rather swish looking 7 inch tablet which has a dual SIM, dual standby, quad, and plus a quad core processor in it. So it's uh, apparently the hottest thing on wheels at the moment. So let's have a look and see, shall we? Straight out of the box first. So what's in the box? Well, there's the usual screen protector. They're very careful about helping you to protect your investment nowadays in China. Another screen protector on there. There's actually also another screen protector, which I don't know if you can probably see that or not, which is on the um, on the, the unit from the factory. Um, I tend to take those off after a while because I'm not that fond of these kind of screen protectors. But anyway, you're, you, you may be more willing to keep it on. In the box, we find USB power socket, earbuds with an unusual but nice flat um, ribbon cable. USB charging cable, OTG cable for attaching external hard drives and whatever to the uh, to the unit. A user manual, which is quite nicely arranged. Let's see. When the Cirrus Motion is in the on mode, quickly press the power key. So it's written in very good English as well, which is always handy with technical specifications at the back. And a case, again, looking after your investment so you can protect it. There you go. So let's have a look at the actual unit itself. The unit features a five megapixel camera on the back. As I said before, eight gigabytes of internal storage. That's a headphone socket. That's the USB charge socket and HDMI out, a mini HDMI out. On the side, we have a home key and a volume rocker up and down and on the other side the power button. Let's try firing this up. Now just to give you the specifications it's running oh, Android f wow <laughs> I think the speaker's quite good it's running Android 4.2 um, with a, a 1.2 gigahertz quad core Cortex A7 in there. Um, it's got a one gigabyte of RAM um, as I said, 7-inch 1280 by 800 screen, so it's a, a quite nicely, um, it's quite a nice screen resolution. And it has Bluetooth, GPS, Wi-Fi up to N. Uh, the uh, dual SIMs will run both, a, uh, both 3G and standard GC GSM. Um, and as I said, they're dual standby, so they're both running. So I'll put, I'll put some SIMs into them in a second and then we can try and try and use them live, use the thing live. Uh, I'll just run through, the, what about so you can do 3G tethering with this, it's 308 grams, 11 mil thick, so it's quite skinny actually, it's quite nice in the hand. Um, three mega, point, th point 0.3 megapixel front facing camera, so your basics for doing things like Skype and whatever, but with the five megapixel rear camera. Mic and speaker, 3200 milliamp hour battery, which is uh, enough to, uh, to give you four to five hours of, of fun time, um, it says on the spec. And it has uh, the ability to play, oh, it'll take micro SD cards up to 32 gigabytes. Play of DivX XVID video. Um, it has a 3.5 mil out audio out, as you can see. Um, and it has accelerometer and gravity sensor inside. So uh, again, it's a, a real sort of tablet type phone product. Right, let me just go and get some SIMs and plug them in and we'll have a look how it runs. Okay, let's um, slot some SIM cards and memory card inside. You have a little panel at the top here, which unclips. And there you see very neatly arranged at the top, the SIM card slots. One, two, and right at the top here, 
is the micro SD card slot, which goes in like so. And that's it, and you're ready to rock. And to be a little bit careful as you put the, the panel back on because it needs to clip in quite clearly in order for it to, to have been latched back, otherwise it'll come adrift. This might be an early, whoa. Wow, they really wanted to make sure that everyone uh, heard their sign on, didn't they? <laughs> That's about the loudest I've ever heard. <laughs> anyway, there you go. So now we get the SIM cards are both recognized. Um, if we go into the, we'll see that the SD card also at the bottom here is recognize this is the SD card. So from out of the box you get um, the gig or 0.98 of a gig available um, on the internal gig RAM. This is 5.33 um, gigs out of the eight available for your own stuff and the SD card is whatever you stick in there up to 32 gigabytes. So if we just have a quick look, we can see that it's running Android 4.2.2. Um, from every other aspect, it's as standard as you can find it, really. Right, let's have a, a quick swizz around and see what it, how it runs in terms of... Now, of course, I'm on the Wi-Fi, whoops, Wi-Fi at the moment. Uh, and it's quick. Quad core is fast. Whoa, I mean, you know, we're, we're paging in this. This is no caching here at all. This is straight off the bat. I've not come into here before. And as you can see, it's fast. <laughs> it's a real, a real chunky sized screen, of course, as you'd expect. Oh, one other thing I could try is just to see how the case fits. There you go. Looks like it might be made for it. <laughs> as you can see, it fits in. It's not as elegant as, a, as an iPad mini, but there again, it's not the iPad mini price. But let's have a look and see what we can do in terms of games and stuff. Let's try and install Perennial favorite, Subway Swifers. So, that's full volume on the, um, on the sound. It's quite loud. Whoa, there you go. That's uh, a little bit of gaming there for you. We've seen um, the browsing. What else is there? Let's have a look at the maps, see if we can find, um, let's see how cool that the maps can be. As you can see, the responsiveness of the screen is pretty awesome. Um, and this is very, very light touch on the capacitive screen. So Stockholm for all the Swedish out there. Have a look and see how quick it's there. That's how quick it switches into satellite and pages through. That's pretty impressive. Okay, so I've uh, switched off the Wi-Fi and I've installed a new SIM and we're just going to see how it runs on my rather dodgy SIM um, 3G, which is actually running at Edge, not even HGS, HSDPA. So this is running very slow. Um, if I went out and about we get a faster reaction, but that's that's it running edge, um, which 
I think is about 150, 128. Um, so it's it's barely usable, but it's uh, it's definitely better than nothing if you're out and about out in the streets and trying to get a signal. And that's the fault of my dear network provider, not the the tablet, of course. As you can see, um, what else have I not shown you? The camera, maybe. The camera's fairly standard. Here's a. a Samsung Galaxy Note as a comparison, size comparison. If I put it down there, you can get an idea of the camera. Five megapixels is not going to blow anybody away, but for a tablet, it seems fairly reasonable. Well, overall impressions of the uh, of, of this tablet, very very nice for one hundred and seventy nine dollars. Remember, this is a tablet which will definitely cope with most requirements you have. Um, it's fast, great screen, um, 3G and, and all the, uh, the mobile stuff works fine, perfectly. Full access to Google Play, games are great on it. Screen's incredibly responsive, very nice as you'd expect. So uh, unequivocally, yes, if you're in the market for a 7-inch tablet at a good price and want also the 3G capabilities with it, then the Cirrus is a Cirrus, serious, that's a terrible pun, isn't it? It's a serious option that you should take. There you go. Thanks for watching. As usual, if you've enjoyed this video, please share it and like it and fav favorite it and do all those kind of cool things and subscribe to our channel. Thanks very much.